Alrighty, we're going to go ahead and do our eighth game of Jeopardy for the Nintendo 64, in which at this point I have accumulated $116,295. What started out as $5,223 has now turned into over $116,000. This is Jeopardy. Let's win more. President's name was Jomo Kenyatta. Again. Uh, let's have Arthur Crafts 100. Reader's Digest Crafts and Hobbies suggests using eggshells as a mold for these. The wicks are added later. with a top. What is spinning? You got it. There we go. Select again. Uh, Art the Crafts 300, please. Answer. Daily level. Oh. Let's do $401. The process has three steps, opening the shed, passing the weft through, and beating the weft.
Uh, it's not coming to me. I have no idea. Sorry, wrong. Weaving. Select again. 400, arts and crafts. In this printing process, ink is forced through number 12 mesh, double uh, X, grade silk bolting. And we're looking for silk screening. Let's close it out. You can use seashells as well as tile or glass tesserae to make these. Tesserae, um... Well, I'm gonna try it. What are mosaics? You got it. There we go. Select again. Glad I went for it. Uh, FYI 100. Medical experts say this deli standard really can help cure a cold. Mom knew it all the time. What is chicken soup? Right. FYI 200. Of, of the average, what of these last six seconds? Ho hum. What is a yawn? Right. Uh, FYI 300. Select again. Ounce for ounce, a red bell pepper contains about four times as much of this vitamin as an orange. What is vitamin C? That's a correct response. FYI for 400. For Americans in 1992, this rose to a record 75.7 years. What is the average lifespan? No, I'm sorry, that's wrong. Anyone else? Oh, it's not? Life expectancy. Life expectancy is the right answer. That's a correct response. Oh, well. Make a selection. In checkers, one player's pieces are black, and the other players are usually white or this color. What is red? That's a correct response. Games for 200. Make a selection. One of these, made when the thrown horseshoe encloses a stake, counts for three points. What is a ringer? That's a correct response. Games for 300. Select again. A feature of this card game is a board where pegs are used to record scores. Well, I got Zippo on that one. How about it, um, Mari? Canasta? No, sorry. No. Anyone else? The game is cribbage. Take a game. Uh, 400 games. On this game's card, the smallest numbers line up under B, the largest under O. What is bingo? Right. Games for 500. Select again. Canasta is played with two 52 card decks and four of these jokers. Four of these cards. I just said the answer. What are jokers? Uh, FYI for 500, please. The recommended procedure to aid an adult choking victim, a slap on the back is no longer advised. 
What is the Heimlich maneuver? You got it. There we go. Select again. Textiles 100. A mordant is a chemical agent that affixes this coloring agent to the fiber. I got nothing on that one. And that is the dye. Select again. Textiles 200. One of the oldest known textile fibers comes from this plant used to make linen. What is flax? That's a correct response. Yeah. Make a selection. The name of this fabric comes from pulp. It was first made in the papal town of Avignon. Well, once again, I got Zippo on that one. Poplin. Poplin. Make a selection. Or two. The name of this textile printing technique means wax painting in Javanese. Created in the U.S. in 1935 is derived from a polyamide polyamine reason. And we're looking for nylon. Make a selection. Now all that's left is U.S. place names. Ponce de Leon discovered this day during Easter, the Feast of Flowers, and named it accordingly. What is Florida? You got it. 200. Make a selection. Moravian missionaries founded this Pennsylvania city in 1741 and named it for Jesus' birthplace. What is Bethlehem? Right. U.S. place names for 300. Select again. This Colorado city was named for its abundance of large rocks. What is Boulder, Colorado? That's a correct response. 400. Select again. The name of this largest New Hampshire city was taken from one in England. They're both centers of industry. Concord. It's Manchester. Select again. I think I didn't buzz in. The son of an 1820 skirmish between two surveyors and two Indians gave this Michigan city its name. What is Battle Creek? Right. Three thousand six hundred ninety-nine dollars at the end of the double jeopardy right. at the end of the jeopardy round, round rather. Double jeopardy round. Remember, we have two daily doubles in this round of play. We're about to start double jeopardy right now. Categories for you are as follows. U.S. Presidents. Abbreviations. Nicknames. G.I. 
theology mm -hmm. around the house. I'm going to close it out with Great Escapes. Make a selection. Of the three major types of rock, nearly all oil deposits occur in this one. Uh, I'm going to try this one. What is sedimentary? You got it. I think the right one. Make a selection. Uh, geology for 400, please. This sea that separates Africa and Europe is the, large, is the last vestige of the Permian Sea, Tethys. What is the Mediterranean? You got it. A geology for six, please. Select again. The three natural industrial forms of this hard mineral are called bort, ballast, and carbonado. Diamond? I think that's what I was thinking, too. Right. Yeah, that's right. Make a selection. In his last will and testament, this president left Mount Vernon to his nephew Bushrod. Who is George Washington? Not George Wallace, George Washington. You got it. Thank you. Make a selection. Uh, let's take you as president for 400, please. His first radio chats were delivered while governor of New York. First radio chats while well, he was governor of New York. Um, who is Franklin uh, Delano Roosevelt? That's right. Yeah. Select again. Uh, we'll pick U.S. presidents for 600, please. This Republican defeated William Jennings Bryan in the elections of 1896 and 1900. Is it William McKinley? That's right. He's the one. Make a selection. Often improperly called tidal waves, these seem to occur after earthquakes over 6.5. Uh... No. What are Zunabis? Right. Oh, good, good. Make a selection. Uh, let's go to that geology for a thousand. The name of this oldest period of the Paleozoic era comes from the Roman name for Wales. Ah, uh, I'm going to give this one to Monty because I don't have a clue. Is it the Cambrian? You got it. Yeah, that's right. Make a selection. Keep going. This center of operations for a business or organization is abbreviated HQ. What is uh, headquarters? You got it. Abbreviations for 400. Make a selection. If you're looking to buy property, you might know that DUP stands for this. What is a duplex? You got it. Abbreviations for 600. Select again. To coin collectors, UNC stands for this. UNC stands for this. What is uncirculated? You got it. Abbreviations for 800. Select again. A contemporary term, DIG stands for dual income. Know these. Dual income, know these. Yeah, I got Zippo on that one. I know it starts with a K. I'll give this one to Bobby. Kinks? Sorry. Not Kinks. Anyone else? Dual income. No kids. Select again. Oh, okay. Let's close it out. As you might surmise, as is this, uh, as is the postal abbreviation for this U.S. territory.
What is... I think it's Alaska, not Arizona. What is Arkansas? No, I'm sorry, that's wrong. No. Anyone else? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh. I just figured it out. It is American Samoa. Right. Make a selection. A crazy one of these covers is a patchwork type without a regular design. What is a quilt? Right. Around the house for him. selection. You may have one of these frames for shoes, spices, or wine. What is a rack? You got it. Around the house for six. Select again. A glass enclosure for fish is an aquarium. One that holds plants and animals is this. What is a terrarium? That's right. Uh, let's have it around the house right here, please. It's a small, round, decorative piece of linen used to protect a table from something set on it. And it's a, do a doily. Select again. Let's close it up. It's a five letter synonym for vestibule. Vestibule. In 1938, Mary Mallon, known by this nickname, was isolated on New York's North Brother Island. <laughs> Brown, be uh, Brown Betty? No. no. Sorry. Wrong. Anyone else? Typhoid Mary. Oh, okay. Make a selection. In the 1910s, this magician was famous for his escape from the water torture cell. Who is Harry Houdini? That's right. Uh, 400, please. Make a selection. In June 1944, Robert Shepard escaped from a West Virginia jail by braiding this teeth cleaner into a rope. What is mouthwash? No? Was toothpaste? No, that's incorrect. Uh, Anyone else? Dental floss? That's a correct. Oh, one. okay. Make a selection. Nickname shared by OSS director jo William Joseph Donovan and Frontier Marshal James Butler Hickok. What is Wild Bill? Uh, Nick is for six. Make a selection. Boz was Charles Dickens, and Bozzy was a Samuel Johnson chronicler. Nothing. Uh -huh. 
We're looking for James Boswell. Make a selection. Nickname's 800. Answer. Uh... 1500. This Italian has been referred to as the Red Shirt Hero. Red Shirt Hero. Who is Benito Mussolini? No. Sorry, wrong. Giuseppe Garibaldi. Let's close it out. This poet was the bard of Ayrshire. Oh. Well, I know it's not Shakespeare. Who is Christopher Marlowe? No. Gosh, that's wrong. Anyone else? Starting to slip. Robert Burns. Make a selection. Oh, I don't want... I'll take U.S. presidents for 800. This U.S. president died in San Francisco on August 2nd, 1923, after an exhausting tour of Alaska. It's not Paul McKinley, I know that much. James Polk? No, I don't think so. He was assassinated. No, that's not right. Anyone else? It was Warren G. Harding. Make a selection. Let's close it out. This president's great-great-great-grandfather, Cornelius Mason, immigrated from the Netherlands in 1631. Teddy Roosevelt? No. Sorry, wrong. Anyone else? And that president was Martin Van Buren. Make a selection. 600. This famous Kentuckian was captured by the Shawnee in 1778, but he escaped. Is it Daniel Boone? Oh, it would have been right. Make a selection. 800. In 1838, this black abolitionist and orator escaped from slavery to New Bedford, Massachusetts. For some reason, I think it's Nat Turner. No, Frederick Douglass. Let's look at that last clue, and it's all mine. Uh, I'm going to have to do a thousand. In 1814, this pirate's basin, Barataria Bay, was destroyed by the U.S. Navy, but he escaped. Who is Jean Lafitte? That's right. There we go. All right, players, start thinking about your wages for Final Jeopardy based on what you know about this category. Let's look at it. Final Jeopardy is based on what you know about this category. Look at it. The category is math. And your final Jeopardy answer is... The name of this branch of a math comes from the Arabic al Jaber, meaning restoration. Let's see if our contestants were successful. What did you put down as your response? No, I'm sorry, that's it's wrong. It's not geometry. Algebra, so I win another game. You got it. So that puts me at $11,598 this game. Thank you for playing Jeopardy. Let's do it again real soon. We'll do that. So I now have an eight game winning total of $127,893. Yeah.